Prime Scan 2. I've looked at the debut videos and information, and from what I can gather, I think this is going to be a home run. It is new, it's a cloud based scanner. And the only issue I would have with that is your internet speed, and hopefully, one day they'll have an option to go directly into a computer in your office if your internet is down, but that's not available from what I've heard thus far. But I do see a lot of advantages to this scanner. Number one, all you need is one scanner for multiple operatories and probably multiple users if you structure your schedule right. In all my teaching through the years, that's always been the issue is when do you get the second CEREC, when do you get the third CEREC, particularly in a large office. This changes the game for that by uploading it to DS Core. And once that information is there, you can take that scanner to another operatory. And the Prime Scan is so efficient for scanning. This opens a whole new door, particularly with scanning every new patient. So that data is in your records, just like an x ray or a photograph, and using the softwares that will actually analyze the aging of a mouth to provide better illustration to your patients. And I'll tell you, that's about practice branding. Digital dentistry is practice branding. And in my hands, it's been phenomenal for my career. And even though I've been doing this over 40 years, I'm not done. I get excited about this new technology and how it will elevate what we do for our patients, particularly with efficiency and accuracy and applications. And now with DS Core, we have an open system. That is so terrific. And I really appreciate where Dent Supply Sharona has gone. I've been a proponent for self-reliance in digital dentistry. And even though CEREC is my number one system chair side, I still like it for other softwares. And what I do up here at my lab, particularly with the PM7, it has a lot of versatility now. So it is a really nice open system. I do see a value of the cloud storage though, because I've had issues with my Prime Scan through the last few years of where it gets full and then you have to offload those files. And then if you want to retrieve them, you have to go back and find them. So I think this cloud option is going to be really good. As long as your internet is working, I think this is a really good first touch for the scanner. I've really enjoyed my Prime Scan and the clarity on margins and drawing margins and the accuracy of the byte registration. It's really been good in my hands. I'm sure this is gonna follow that same precision. It does appear that the camera is a little more versatile in the mouth because of the size of that tip. So I think that will be interesting. I still love my Prime Scan. I think the Prime Scan 2 is gonna provide more options the one thing I do want to see is, do we have an option of using a different method of storing it directly to a laptop within the operatory in case we're in a place where the internet doesn't work really well or if the internet goes down, which does happen in my office more than I would like to think. I don't want that to interfere with the workflow. But other than that, I think there's a lot of possibilities here and it's gonna be a lot of fun to see how this enters the market.